So Eugene, we're down um, on Adelaide Terrace um, this afternoon with the Illegal Tobacco Crime Unit. Can you tell us a bit about the work that's been going on over the last couple of days? Well, it's actually, the, the last couple of days are part of a much longer relationship than we've had with the sniffer dogs, the dogs you have seen in the press over the years. Uh, finding illegal tobacco across Newcastle and it's really nice to have the roadshow here today bringing people's attention to what they've done and the whole purpose of it. Illegal uh, tobacco is a real problem for us because it undercuts the price of, 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 of properly taxed products, it encourages people to buy from the black market, some of the profits are going into organised crime. This is a, a real social issue. People don't want their, their children to get caught up in it. So. Having this kind of publicity is very useful for getting that message across. And I suspect one of the biggest challenges faced is, is raising awareness of the branding and, and how these cigarettes look because to, to most people they just look like normal cigarettes that you buy off the shelf, don't they? They look like cigarettes you buy off the shelf and very often are, are made very professionally. Quite a lot of the brands we've seen today are brands we've known before but also some others with uh, Arabic or other, other languages written on the outsides of the packs. So sometimes you can recognise them. And you were telling me earlier that, that these cigarettes can be much easier for children and young people to buy as well, is that right? One of the problems is that they're, they're sold in places that, that are, well they don't really obey the regulations that you'd expect to see elsewhere, so they're more widely available. Sales tend to be made in a more casual way. and. Uh, because they're undercutting the prices, then they become attractive to people who are looking for, for uh, cheap cigarettes. 